Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming and we are back with another Dragon Champion video. If you are level 15 or below, make sure to use the promo code the Starco to get a free starter pack. To do so, guys, it is pretty simple. You go in the settings, use a promo code, and you enter the code the Starco S-T-A-R-K-O. You press OK and you will receive the goodies. And hopefully you guys will enjoy. And also, guys, for everybody else level 8 up to level 80 everybody everybody no exception if you haven't used a easter promo code yet make sure you use the promo code the starco easter uh it's really as uh, simple to type starco easter like that uh do that guys and you will receive goodies but if you already use a uh easter promo code you will not be eligible to use that promo code sadly so now we talk about promo code guys let's jump into the topic of this video today we're going to be talking about raleigh the uh the dwarf healer um that has no synergy yet and uh still has no leadership because the rest of the dwarf it's fine you can actually use solace as a lead but raleigh is already a healer so the solace lead is kind of pointless so that kind of leave her with darian lead yeah that says it all guys so basically darian become the, <laughs> the best defender and lead for the dwarf team if you already have a healer I, I i don't know maybe it's just me but that makes literally uh no sense the way they've been releasing the dwarfs and half big so far there is no leadership available for the dwarf there is no defender available for the dwarf it's just it's just for me makes no sense and the synergy for raleigh is actually a defender that is not released yet it's, it's like everything uh is is wrong for raleigh it's like there is literally no point to actually have raleigh in the game right now which is kind of why I, I waited for this character spotlight by the way guys because it is so hard to judge what you can actually do in the game with having no leadership having no defender for her but we're still going to be taking a look at her skills and set up how to build Builder and out to player a little bit so you guys when uh, you actually get the synergy for her or a leadership for her you will be more aware on um you know how to treat her how to treat her i do love the uh, artwork though i think it is probably the best uh with zappy the two best uh dwarf artwork definitely without a, without a single doubt i really love that I really, really love that. And by the way, guys, if you actually hold the screen and turn around your character, uh, you the the UI will actually disappear, and you can actually take screenshot here uh, without the UI. I don't know if you guys knew that, but I know that for a few months now. It's actually pretty awesome. But anyway, guys, we're gonna start. We're gonna talk about our skills. Uh, then we're gonna go with runes, artifact, and. Uh, We'll give our uh, final opinion on this character. So first, we have the passive ability L Care. At the start of the turn, Raleigh gained five percent charge for each allied dwarf with L below hundred percent. Double charge gain for allies with L to below fifty percent. And at the end of the turn, for every five percent charge, give the ally with the lowest HP shield to equal to. 10% of her magical damage so if she, ha if she has 50% charge she is going to give 100% magical damage shield for example um, when she takes damage she loses 10% charge and if you actually bring this ability from level 7 to level 6 uh, you are going to get uh, you know it's going to be 10% charge instead of 5% charge which is not going to be uh a big difference to be honest you know shield equality percentage of magical damage if that was actually up to like 500 percent that will be different but it's only 10 percent so um even if you have it at five percent you have a hundred percent charge it's only gonna be 200 percent of her magical damage which is probably like, like gonna be a quarter of a, sh a shield bar which is not that much so um i don't know maybe it's just me but i don't think this level ability level seven uh, actually makes sense level six is totally fine just the fact that you get double charge uh for uh allies below uh, 50 percent is totally fine for me next ability we have the third skill 
Uh, loop the loop. Uh, remove two debuff from yourself. Gain a cheat death, a dodge increase, and ace for two turns. Restore 25% health. Stim gain 10 for one turn. Consume 25% charge. For every 5% charge uh, uh, consume, restore 15% turn meter. So she can restore a big total of... Uh, 75% turn meter uh, when she used the this ability and Stim can gain it out for one turn when she used this ability, which it's kind of useless ability until Stim gets released pretty much, uh, sadly. It is sad, but it is what it is, guys. And uh, yeah, for now, um, remove two debuff from yourself is actually pretty great, but um, you know, usually you're gonna be hit by ability block and you're gonna be screwed. You're not gonna be able to use this skill. So I'm not a big fan of remove debuff from yourself, by the way, guys. Uh, if you have to use the skill, if it's not a passive. Uh, here, you get a big boost on, uh, on Stim, so this ability to level 6 is kind of pointless so my recommendation will be ability level 5 here until we actually get stim now if stim is, is in the game definitely ability level 6 because you can get give a talent to your defender by using that that's just outstanding when stim will be released obviously next we have the second skill stim pack healing ability that started with two turn cooldown that is not a good design in my opinion um I think one turn cooldown will be fine because now you actually have to survive at least two turn and hope that you're not gonna get ability block on your characters during those two turns to be able to do one healing ability i really think it's not optimal guys i don't think it's a good design uh but that's just maybe i'm just eating on rally because um, no lead and <laughs> no synergy and no defender but anyway uh the healing amount is actually pretty great though heal all lies for 600 percent of rally magical damage Damage. consume 25 percent charge uh, for five percent for every five percent charge consume give a random ally armor increase tenacity increase and regeneration for two turns that shall be an aoe that will make her so much uh better but uh 25 percent charge so five um ally are going to get armor increase tenacity increase and regeneration because it consumes 25 percent charge so uh, it's kind of aoe but i wish they'll just uh, say all allies or five allies because you consume 25 percent charge so it's not like you can consume 20 you can't it's consume 25 percent and that is it so um i guess they just they could make it so much easier in the warning and makes the skill description so much shorter but anyway uh, if you actually get this level ability to level 7 you get 100 extra healing and regeneration for two turns i do believe that ability level 6 is here is five five percent five hundred percent rally magical damage it sh still shall be a hundred percent for the hp on the, the allies unless the ally has a huge uh hp pool that will be the only reason so a little t level six here is totally fine in my opinion and then we have the basic ability trank shot deal 300 percent magical damage to the target inflict a currency decrease for two turns restore 25 percent charge to herself and stim if the target adds pull out and again here uh this is literally another synergy with stim but the air currency decrease can actually be good but you that will mean that you have to build her for uh potency which just for one debuff it's definitely and it's only single target is definitely not worth it guys it is not worth it this is another ability that uh level five level six is gonna be doing the job uh it's a native syn native synergy with stim so you don't actually need anything special so basically there is no required ability level seven on this character it's all ability level six some at level five uh will actually get the job done i know that is weird that's actually the first time i don't actually have to recommend ability level seven since ability level sevens were released that is so weird but yes um nothing really special on her without stim so uh, she's gonna need stim to actually have a great synergy she's gonna need uh, a, a leadership we have no idea what the leadership will actually bring to her but uh, after that she might actually become a good healer right now i just don't see her as a very good character uh, decent healing on the second skills but to require two turn cooldown before you can actually start healing with it which is not optimal to fight in the arena for example or just battleground uh if you usually 
after two turns you have somebody dead so uh that's kind of does will not help prevent that ally to actually survive in my personal opinion so that's just what i think next guys we're going to be talking about uh, the runes and artifact first the runes uh we went here four speed and two tenacity one uh, tenacity so uh she does not get applied by uh she does not receive ability block and that's kind of the objective here so we want to try to give her as much tenacity as possible for that but also great speed so she can she go fast and you know when she gets maybe that 75 percent turn meter increase from that third skill she can go very fast again and actually trigger her healing uh as fast as possible at least that's the objective here so speed is very important tenacity is very important and those are pretty much the only stats that matters on her so we are going to focus speed magical damage and um and tenacity on this characters on the room so you can see here we have speed um second runes here we have uh, speed primary not much on the secondary stats to be honest here we have speed with 10 uh we do have a bunch of damage which is actually pretty great here we went damage of primary because we want to get more healing from um you know that damage and more shield obviously so it's very important and a little bit of speed here we went shield primary because shield primary is the best here it's much better than hp uh with some great speed and then the last one we went to damage we're already getting enough tenacity from outside sources and we want this healing to actually be better so we went with damage percentage with speed that is my decision but here you could definitely go tenacity uh as primary stats to actually get your tenacity closer to 100 percent if you can that will be the thing uh speed wise we have 243 speed with this setup which my recommendation is 200 speed plus uh, as always well with four speed runes i'll say 225 speed plus here we have 75 percent tenacity so if we actually replace this uh, primary with tenacity here we will be very close to 100 percent tenacity and artifact yes artifact you want to go damage and tenacity here you can see we got a blue artifact to uh five stars obviously uh not everybody is going to be able to do five stars uh four stars will still give you 12 percent damage increase and 18 percent uh tenacity up so it's actually uh still going to be pretty solid but yes you want to go to uh damage percentage and tenacity percentage so you can actually get you know here you can see uh we get 900 123 magic damage from this uh this artifact and we get 36 percent tenacity so it really helps a lot so really tenacity and damage increase for her or if you want to go with the, the potency route i will replace everywhere i put tenacity uh and i'll actually put potency so you can actually have go with the accuracy uh a decrease and um that could be worded in some situation but it's single target and it's just the it's actually the only debuff so i don't think it is actually worth it but anyway that is my opinion on her guys i know the spending event for her is right now and um personally i'm just not doing it because she's not worth it at the moment she is definitely not worth it she's going to become farmable and until we have a lead for her and we have a defender to go with her she is just useless in the game at the moment at least that's the way i see it if you see her in a different way if you try her out uh you know at seven stars and it's different comp that can actually work let me know in the comment section guys maybe i'm wrong and uh, maybe i need to adjust my opinion or of her but right now this is my opinion that i'm sharing with you guys so uh hopefully you guys enjoy it uh guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check the bell to get notified when we post new content also make sure you join the discord server for drag queens giveaway and the best dragon champion guide available down there and uh, guys most important of all make sure you keep enjoying playing dragon champion and i'll see you guys again in the next video thank you